Hello Brewtubers and welcome to Oh No Not Another One. Yes, I am brewing again. This time a uh, wheat beer. Um, I'm doing one of my special tea bag wheat beers, the black currant and blueberry tea bag wheat. Um, simple recipe. Uh, two and a half kilos of Pilsner malt, two and a half kilos of wheat malt, uh, 15 grams of Chinook I think at the start of the bowl for bittering, uh, might chuck in leftover sars I had from yesterday's brew um, at the last 10 minutes and then about 20 or so black currant and blueberry flavoured tea bags and a nice Belgian wheat beer yeast to uh, ferment with. So we're up to temperature, mashing at 67 degrees Celsius. Very snowy outside but it's uh, thawing away. So yes, let's crack on. So that's all mashed in. I'll get the uh, the sparge plate thingy popped in and reduce the flow rate a bit. And out there is the lovely snow. Snow, snow, snow. Starting to thaw already, I reckon. Start of the boil, in goes 20 grams of Chinook hops, 15% uh, alpha acids. Let's give that a squirt. It sort of reached hot break, but then decided it didn't. Hmm. So, hour and 10 minute boil. Uh, next hop addition, 10 minutes to go, which will be whatever that amount of saz is, I might as well use it up, and then I will add in the last couple of minutes the black currant and blueberry tea. Oh, looks nice, doesn't it? Brewing in the snow, how exciting. Last 10 minutes, 44 grams of Sars, Sars, quite a lot actually, more than I was expecting to put in, but never mind. As you can see, we've had a boil over, which is quite surprising, whilst I've been away. Hmm. Right, we'll give this another five minutes or so, five, five or six minutes, then we'll add the tea powder. Last couple of minutes of the boil, in goes the contents of 26 black currant and blueberry tea bags. Them into the hot spider there. We'll give this about two or three minutes and then we'll uh, start cool down. Okay, so we're all in the fermenter using Bavarian wheat yeast. I've used it before, very reliable. Top fermenting wheat beer yeast in parts, banana and clove esters balanced with spiced aroma. This is silky mouthful and a rich body. Perfect. Right, well, I'll put this on the shelf and then I'll take a hydrometer reading. So that is the end of brew day. Quite glad it's over. Um, it's been, it's just been a bit, um, not gonna bother tidying up tonight. I'll do it tomorrow, day after, something like that. Give it a good old tidy up in here because it is quite a bit of a mess now. Um, yeah, so a good old tidy up perhaps on Sunday or Monday. Uh, 10.43 on the hydrometer. So it's a little lower than I'd hoped. I was aiming for 10.45 to 10.50, that sort of range. So a little lower, but it's not the end of the world. Um, should make a full four and a half percent beer. Um, a little bit worried it might be a bit too bitter. I added more hops than I did for my strawberries and cream and the cranberry and raspberry wheat um, beers. So um, I think for both of those I used 15 grams of Chinook. This time I used 20 grams at 15% alpha acids. And then I just randomly put 44 grams of 3% alpha acid um, SARS hops uh, the last 10 minutes because I wanted to get rid of them, which seems quite a waste actually. I should have should have kept them and used them for something. Too late now anyway. 
So yes, 26 tea bags as well. Uh, black currant and blueberry um, twinings. So uh, they should hopefully add a nice fruity flavour. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. Hmm. I've say I've done the tea ones before. And it's been quite nice. So I hopefully haven't ruined it by putting too many hops in. Oh well. Right, that's it. I've had enough of this of everything. I'm gonna go in to the warm. Well it's actually quite warm here anyway, but yeah, it's gonna go in and uh, just relax before the party. Cheery bye.